Welcome back to Max's Garage Mahal. Hey, I want to show you what I got here. And these things are great if you got all day to charge a Ryobi battery. Well, I ain't got that kind of time. You know what? Let's put that at Ryobi over there out of the way. But what? And this is really not what I want to talk about. I didn't really want to talk about this charger. And the reason why I didn't want to talk about it, it takes all day, like I said. It just sucks. So what I did, and y'all know I've been wanting to get me one of those fast chargers. Look at what I have right here in my hand. And you know what? It ain't fast. It's quick. And I got this from InnoTool. And it, uh, it's a model number, OP400A. It is 100 to 240 volt, 50 to 60 hertz input. And it has output of 40 volts, 1700 milliamps. It ain't screwing around. Now, you can't just get, but I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's see how well the Ryobi battery fits that sucker. Fits like a glove, boys and girls. And it's telling you, with the green flashing light, that it is charging that puppy. And that's quick. Of course, that really wasn't all that far down, so you don't have to worry about it charging it. It's already pretty much charged. I like keeping my equipment charged up, ready to go. So that's the Ryobi. Now then, y'all know this is my beloved Bizway company, and I've had a lot of luck with these things, you know, a lot of luck with these people, and, and the manufacturer itself. I mean, they're great people. And as you can see, it is mostly charged. And it's charging that sucker right up. Okay. Fits like a glove. I like that. When it comes to chargers, the better it... I'd say this. Those Bizway batteries don't fall out of anything. They, they're there to stay. Hello, Bizway. Come on out there, puppy. I want you out. <laughs> this, was, this wasn't planned. There we go. Just got to push the button. I'm getting old, and I, you know, so hard to push things like used to. And this is a uh, La Sica. You know I love them people to death. And it is also fitting like a glove. You can see I've used this. This is this is not playing. This is ad lib. It's already charging, and it should be basically charged. It's been a little bit since I've used it. I've been been ill for about 10 weeks so I hadn't been using a whole lot of anything but you know what you can't buy someone's charger you <laughs> you got half their battery so <laughs> I talked to them and uh, asked them their specifications and how I wanted to check it against Ralvi, Lasica and Bizway and they promised me that their tools are better if are as good, if not better, than anything else to market. We're going to find out. This is a 40 volt, 240 watt hour, and it's a 6 amp. Let's put it on there. And I haven't charged this one. Let's see how close to charge it came in. <coughs> so it's got quite a bit of charge in it. So, we're going to cut the video right here. It is now 1028. We're going to leave that on there a little bit. We're going to see what time it takes for this to, to uh, have a full charge in it. And uh, tell you what let's do. Let's plug this puppy in over here. I can find a place to plug it. I got so many charger things going on at one time. Alright, let me get in front of you there where you can see the back of my head real well. charge one of these others that has uh, partially charged with the all day job over here and let's see if I can get that where you can see it I always lay that like that where I can see it when I'm walking through the shop it's over in a window so there you go can you see the little green light over here Little green light, where'd you go? Did I pull the wire loose on that dude? 
That's what I did. Pulled on it too hard trying to get it in the frame. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Like I said, none of this stuff is rehearsed. And it's ad-libbed as always. Now can you see the little green light? Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're going to leave the camera set just like that. We're going to come back in a little bit and take a look and see what that looks like. So, be right back. <coughs> okay, guys. Well, I apologize. It is now Timex time of 11.25. I don't really know how quickly this charged. But I got a feeling really, really quickly. And even this one has gone off. So that was really a bad test. I apologize. Um, going through a little bit of health problems. But, you know, hey. I wanted to show you I finally got one of these things. Which will help me stay out of the... <laughs> running back and forth and um, let's see what this says here it says have all four uh, lights which is a good thing and let's see what this one says all four let's see what the Ralby says I hadn't used it in a, probably a year but I have charged it so What's it doing? Why is it flashing? I've never done that before. That could be bad. Alright, and let's see. And this one here. There you go. Alright, so we know that the charger works. And I'm really happy to have it. And here is the company I purchased it from. It's Inno Tools. And I haven't found them on eBay or or Amazon. I'm going to look again. If I find it this time, then <coughs> they weren't when I put this on here, uh, when I bought this. So I will look on the Amazon and eBay and see if I can find them. If I can, I will put links down below. But I'm definitely going to put links to Inno Tool down below. And um, we will be doing a serious test on their battery with a Ryobi uh, 40 volt trimmer. We'll do some edging with it. We'll do some trimming with it. I've got another thing that we're going to put on it. I haven't tried. So uh, I'm going to give Inno Tool quick charge battery charger, 40 volt battery charger, two thumbs up. So as well we say here at Max's Garage Mall, we appreciate you stopping by. And if you can give us a like, that would be great. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and share. As we always say, y'all come back and see us now, you hear? Now tell me true, what did you do? Why'd you lie to me? Do you feel the truth? Like I said before, you're such a mess. Let it go, let it go, you gotta let it go